Before creating and configuring a hybrid deployment using the hybrid con configuration wizard, we need to validate certain mandatory requirements. Without setting up those, we will not be able to configure hybrid deployment. On-premises exchange version should be Exchange 2010 and above with the latest updates installed. If you have Exchange 2007, you need to upgrade to latest version before setting up hybrid. Office 365 subscription and licenses created and set it up properly. We need one global, global administrator account for the Office 365 to complete this hybrid setup later in this stage. We need to add custom domains in the Office 365 tenant and we have to complete DNS verification before we are starting the hybrid configuration wizard. AD Connect configured in the on-premises environment and sync cycles are working properly and regularly done without errors. On-premises Exchange Auto Discover and Exchange Web Services are configured and it is available from the internet. If these services are not available from the internet, we will not be able to complete. We need public certificates with SAN entries. It's a mandatory requirement for the Exchange Web Services and TLS mail routing to work properly. If you configured its Edge servers for the inbound or outbound mail routing. Ensure Edge Sync is properly working before we begin the hybrid configuration wizard. It does few modification in the mail routing and it creates connector for the inbound or outbound from the Office 365 to the on-premises. Ensure ports and endpoints of Exchange ADFS SMTP services are open and reachable from the internet. Login to on-premises exchange control panel and click on configure. Sign into Office 365 global admin account. Type the username and password for the global administrator account of Office 365. Once signed in, click on configure. Now it will start downloading the hybrid configuration wizard MSI package. Click on run. And now click on next and it automatically detects the exchange server. If it is not detecting, select the exchange server based on your environment and also select the Office 365 tenant based on your location where you set up. And click on next. And now type Office 365 Global Administrator account, on-premises account has been already selected because we logged in using that account. So we no need to type it again. Now both accounts has been typed. Click on next. And now it begins validating both on-premises and Office 365. It takes few moments.
Now on-premises and cloud office registry tenant validation has been completed. Click on next to start. You can select any one of the hybrid configuration, minimal or full. Since I would like to have complete features enabled between on-prem and cloud, I am going with full hybrid configuration. Select it and click on next. Click on enable federation trust. It helps creating free busy information or relationship between the on-premises and cloud. To complete that, we need to create one text record in public DNS provider. Click on copy to notepad. It, it opens a text file and shows the text information what we need to create. You can share that information to your public DNS provider or you can create the text record to complete the Federation Trust enablement. You need to create any one of this record based on your DNS. Now, you can select any one of this method. Since I would like to create conditional access later in this stage of my environment, I'm going with modern hybrid topology. And if hybrid agent already installed, existing uh, environment you can go ahead and start with using existing agent or else you can click on install an additional agent and begin the hybrid environment setup enter the exchange web services url which is reachable from the external environment if it is not there we have not created exchange web services url it it will ask us to enter the exchange web services url so that in in the exchange server it create external web services virtual directory url Click on update virtual directory so that it adds external URL of the Exchange Web Services. Now we have done adding external Web Services URL addition in the Exchange server and then click on next. Enter the credentials for migration endpoints to my for the my mailbox migration from on-prem to cloud we can enter when migrating as well click on next and now it is downloading hybrid agent and registering the hybrid agent and also it it enables exchange on-premises with hybrid It takes few moments. Now it's been completed. Click on next. Now it is asking for the uh, client access and mailbox server for the secure mail transport. You can select the servers. Since I have only one server, I am selecting and clicking on next. And it is asking the send connector where to enable for the mail routing. Now select the certificate to use for the TLS communication. I've already installed my wildcard certificate for the TLS communication. So I selected, click on next. And it is asking for the domain to validate for the mail TLS mail routing. I'm entering my domain name here.
which is also available in SAN entries of this wildcard certificate. Without that, mail routing won't happen. Now it's ready for update. Click on update. It enables on-premises exchange and Office 365 with hybrid features and it creates org relationship, federation trust, send connector, receive connectors between on-prem and cloud and that also validates configuration mail MRX proxy and it enables MRX proxy services also between on-premises and cloud to do the mail box migration smoothly between the environments. It takes more time since it is updating both environment with hybrid. We need to wait and also you can see what and all features it is enabling between Office 365 and on-premises. It enables MRX pro, MRS proxy in the server which we selected for the hybrid. Congratulations, we have successfully completed hybrid between on-prem and Office 365. Here with we can do mailbox migration and we, we can validate free busy information between on-prem and the cloud. If you want to validate in on-premises, type command get hyphen hybrid configuration. It provides all the information, the domains enabled for hybrid and features enabled between on-premises and Office 365 and enabled server for trans transporting the mails between on-prem and cloud.